This is video 52 of 101. This video is about what's currently out there. Alright guys, so health and wellness and fitness, all that stuff, it is definitely in no way a new concept to us. We are so aware that it's out there, especially because of all of the thousands of products that are out there claiming to be the solution or the cure. Well, I'm here to just talk about what's already out there, what are actually good things, and what are kind of just marketing scams. The way I like to categorize what's actually good for us is things that are not a whole package, because there's no such thing as the perfect whole package. You'll never be able to go out and buy one thing that's going to change your entire life. The things that we actually need to focus on are specific kinds of tools that are just going to help us with the overall practices that we're going to be doing. And so the main things for a healthy lifestyle is feeding your body what it needs and using the energy that it gives you. There are a lot of things obviously for eating those foods in terms of kitchen supplies and cooking supplies as well as specialty tools for using these foods. Of course then there are things like mugs and jars and glasses that help us actually consume the foods. Other tools that we love to have are organizational tools for the home as well as fitness tools or fitness equipment, fitness trackers, even like tea shops are really great. Obviously your grocery store and the perimeter of it is awesome. Any kind of produce you're gonna want to grab for sure. Essentially just understanding what is gonna make it easier for you to eat healthier and then investing in that. So what are some things that we totally wanna avoid? Any kind of diet pill, we don't wanna be over supplementing by buying like tons of vitamins and just relying on that. We don't want to be buying any kind of magic weight loss cure or anything that says that you are going to get skinny in, in 15 days. Nothing like that is, is ever really going to work because these are typically people who have, you know, maybe scientifically or not scientifically created some kind of evidence to prove to you that this one method is exactly what you're going to need. But like we know is that there are 7 billion methods and only one of them is good for us and we're never going to find that in a book because we need to find that in ourselves. So any kind of book or pill or product that says that you're going to be super fit, super skinny, healthy, whatever, don't believe it. The things that we need to focus on are the things that don't tell us that. Our healthy habits is what's going to take us to be healthy. The tools are just going to help us with that. And the other products, we're just we are going to get rid of that. We don't need those. <laughs> so I'm just going to talk about a couple of tools that I have that really help me. Of course, I absolutely love my jars. I've talked about them a couple times. Mason jars are incredible. Some other things that I absolutely love having, of course, is cutting boards and knives. These make chopping extremely easy. I love just having a really big cutting board. It makes me want to cook more. I also love having a whiteboard on my fridge. This is a really awesome way because I'm able to then write out what I'm going to be doing the next day, and when I wake up, I have a clear picture of what the things I need to do during the day, and it can help me prioritize as well. So getting some kind of whiteboard, I have just a small one, but if you have a bigger family, you can even incorporate like calendars and to-do lists in them. They're incredible for helping organization. I highly recommend the ones you can just dry erase and wipe off, because then you can update them every single day. And every day I write my like, you know, today is suit up Sunday, so <laughs> you know, I gotta get a lot of work done today, and I'm feeling great about it. And then as well, on my whiteboards, I write stuff I have to do that day, and then just below, I write what foods I'm gonna be eating that day so just kind of taking a look into my fridge seeing what I've got or seeing if I have to go buy some stuff in the next morning also just planning out what my meals are so I usually don't even say like breakfast lunch and dinner I just number them I say thing one thing two thing three up till usually about thing six uh, you know the first thing could just be orange juice and then the second thing could be a peach and then the third thing could be an ice cream fourth thing could just be bread and then maybe five would be dinner and then six could be like tea or something just to kind of hold myself a little bit responsible like these are things you should be doing eat these things and I don't stick to it every single day but it definitely has helped me become way more organized in my life one last thing that has really helped me out and that I always used to kind of let my dishes pile up sometimes and that was because there was like food in them or it was like oh so annoying that my compost would fill up so quickly and just having to take that out constantly was just really annoying. And so what I ended up doing is just investing in really, really large compost bags. They're like huge. I'll show you. They are absolutely huge. I can literally fit inside this bag. <laughs> Has helped me so much. Now I just stick this under my counter and when I need to throw something out, I just open it. I just pop it open, throw my stuff in, fills up. It's super, it's got like a plasticky inside in there. So it's really, really durable. And then when I'm done, I just grab it and toss it out with the rest of the, you know, on, on compost day. Yeah, so those are just some things that help me in life. I've never touched pills or anything like that, and I don't recommend it. I don't take any kind of supplements because I just find that I don't need it. I get a lot of vitamin D. I sit out in the sun a lot. I have a lot of other small things 
they gave me like B12, like nutritional yeast or spirulina or some kind of fortified vegan foods as well. So final takeaway is that we need to be setting up these healthy habits that make eating healthy easy for us so we don't have to think about it. That is how we're going to achieve true health. When we don't have to struggle with eating healthy, it's just something that comes naturally, something we just do every day without even thinking about it. Setting up these healthy habits and getting the tools to help you with that is going to be the best thing for yourself.